Flash Talk presents A Gerbil's Tale. All right, so uh, I had this cousin who was kind of a brat. Um, he was raised by my uh, aunt, who was really too sweet to raise a child. So he he had everything, and would he was the kind of kid who would bring over something really cool and hold it behind his back and not let you play with it and all this, you know. But he wanted you to know that he had. Something oh out. yeah, yeah, you know. So he had, you know, he was like a big comic book collector. He'd come over with a stack of comic books. And wouldn't let you look at any of them, you know, unless you did, you know. Uh, okay, so you get the the picture here. So I Painted go, Will. I go over to uh, his house. Um, it, it's kind of a regular place for my mother to take us. And he had this one pair of gerbils that we were not allowed to touch, you know. And, and any time we came over there, he, let he them would read the comics. He though. would take them out. He would play with them, you know, and. I saw how he'd do it. He'd pick him up by the tail and put him in his hand, you know, and play with him on the ground and chase him around. And they would, you know. And he made you stand in a corner of the room and watch? And so, well, we would, you know, we just, we would find something else to do. But, man, I just, and of course my mother would, you know, never let, allow me to have any kind of rodent in the house. That was just never going to happen. So, I was just incredibly jealous. I wanted this gerbil bad. So... <laughs> We go over there one day, and he's not there. And so I got the run of the place. I can read every comic book I come across. I can do anything I want to. You know, so I'm in the room, and I see that gerbil cage. I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm going to play with that fucking gerbil. So I go over there and open up the cage, you know, reaching just like I saw him do, grab him, pull him out and everything, and playing with him in my hand. I let him play around on the rug and everything. All of a sudden, I hear him coming in the house. Mm-mm. And I kind of panic. I got to get this thing back in the cage. So I go to pick him up by the tail, and he digs into the carpet. Right? He's not going anywhere. I don't want to, you know. And he seems like he's kind of starting to get panicky. I don't want to pick him up. I don't want this thing to bite me. I'm, you know, I'm very scared of this. I'm not used to right. him. So I'm pulling harder and harder on that tail. Right. He's getting closer and closer. And eventually, the skin only of the tail comes off in my hand so that now I'm looking at this bloody vertebrae stump of a tail (laughs) coming out of the back of the, I panic, I panic and I just scoop him up, throw him in the cage, put the cage hole back, throw the tail in there, put the cage, close the cage up and everything and just never said a word, right? So (laughs) then we hear that apparently they had to get like a new cage because one of the uh, gerbils was getting really, really aggressive and ate the other one's tail and all this kind of stuff. And I just never. Just let the other gerbil take the fall. I just let the other gerbil take, take the fall. The fall. Oh my God. <laughs> what else were you gonna do though? Really, like the. I accidentally I just, did that. <laughs> I just, Actually, I took, you've done yeah. that. Too? No. Like, oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so you pulled the skin of the tail. Like, yeah. Jeez. I mean, that, that, that in it itself. It was bleeding all over the place. And what happened to the tail? Did they have to amputate the tail? Well, you can't keep I don't a bone tail. You just, just kind of, you washed your hands of it after. I, that. I, I did. I don't know. Twice. Did you ever see him again? I mean, it was a, yeah. huh? You saw him again, though, right? Oh, yeah. They basically separated the, you know, they blamed it on the other little rodent, and they had separate, separate cages. No longer oh. got to live together. Every I broke time, up a marriage. Every you know? time you marriage. came over, <laughs> that one hamster would just stare at you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I think they're kind of designed to be breakaway tails, like a lizard or something, you know. It's like a defense mechanism. I don't know about that. You know, how, you must have been, you must have really, well, what did you do with the tail? Threw it in the cage. With, oh, with him? Yeah. Oh, my God. So yeah. they must have thought the other rat just like, you know. <laughs> no, no. I think that the other rat Ended up eating the skin of that tail. Okay. And, okay. Uh, and but they assumed that he ate it. So you oh, know, like directly off the bone. Right. right. They thought that like it was ribs. just you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thirsty for more? Look for Scotch Talk on iTunes or at scotchtalk.blogspot.com.